Hello, and welcome to Cooking with Chris. We're gonna make some spaghetti. Let's start with the meat, because we're making spaghetti with meat sauce, okay? The best way to make your meat is in a skillet. I got my skillet here. I got my meat. So let's season it. Now, personally, I like a little salt and pepper and sometimes a little cayenne pepper because it just brings out the flavor. So just turn it on to high, start to stir, give it a minute or two, or like 10 if you didn't thaw it out beforehand. All right. Now we're cooking with grease. Once your ground beef is magnifique, you need to drain the grease. Although, personal story, I tend to leave a little bit in mine. It just is so yummy. Now we move to step two. Step. Next step. Get you a pan, fill it up with water, and then put in a pinch of salt for the noodles. Now, noodles are a personal preference. Sometimes I like bow ties. Sometimes I like egg noodles. Sometimes I like old-fashioned spaghetti. Maybe every now and then a little angel hair. The worst part is waiting for the goddamn pot to boil. And that just made me realize I earlier called the pot a pan. <sighs> Dude, could you just boil? Could you just fucking boil for me? Hello, Hello darkness, darkness, my old friend. friend. Looks like things are really heating up. Oh my god, it's happening! It's happening! Oh. Oh, yeah. Let's oh, yeah. At this point, you may want to turn down the heat to about medium. Cooking times will vary depending on the noodle you decided to use. Spaghetti may be one thing. Rotini may be another. Bow ties. You'll figure it out. Now, some people want a well-done noodle. I kind of prefer it al dente. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Once you got done your noodles and everything, just throw them back in the pot, add in your spaghetti sauce. That's right. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Whatever sauce you want to use, I ain't gonna judge. Right now, it looks like I'm using Prego. So you just take that noodle, and you take that sauce. You let it mix together a little while. Keep that meat on the side. Make sure you keep it at middle to low heat. You do not want to ruin this. Once the sauce has been given adequate time to mix with the noodle. Zing. You cut your meat. So now you just gotta basically figure out how much meat you want in your bowl. Yeah, so basically you just take your meat and add however much you want to your spaghetti. And then you just stir, 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 st